During the summer of last year, Frank Wills, a colleague of mine, conducted a series of CBT sessions with another colleague, Jan Gray, acting in the role of client. Frank is a hugely experienced CBT therapist, was subject leader in counselling here for very many years, and is also the author of a number of books on CBT, the most recent being a SAGE publication, Skills in Cognitive Behavioural Therapy. Jan is also a CBT therapist and one of the lecturers here on our diploma course, and, as I've said, she was playing the role of a client. Though she was playing that role, the therapy sessions themselves were completely unscripted and give a very clear demonstration of CBT skills in practice. We're going to look at some excerpts from those sessions and we've got two clear aims in doing this. Firstly, we want to show CBT skills being implemented within a sound therapeutic relationship. And secondly, we aim to show the development of skill use and the development of that therapeutic relationship over a number of sessions. There are a number of therapy tapes showing a one-off session, but few that show how therapy actually unfolds. So Frank, this was a role play, but how much did it feel like the real thing? Well, I think the first thing to say is it, it is quite smooth, um, but it felt pretty real, actually. I mean, we did have a sort of vague outline of how things were going to go, but I didn't know from moment to moment what would come up. And there were some quite surprising turns in it, and some quite strongly emotionally felt material came out. Okay, and we're going to look at excerpts from all four of the sessions. Uh, what are we going to see there? It would be three main areas, really. Firstly, assessment, and then some cognitive behavioural interventions, and then finally a little bit about reviewing and evaluating what has gone on in the therapy. Okay. So we're going to see assessment first. Uh, what do we need to say to set the scene? Well, we come into the session uh, a little bit after it started, so that the client's already told me that she has a, uh, a difficulty in the area of social anxiety. What I'm now asking you to do is to give me a specific example. Getting a specific example is particularly important in the early stages of assessment in CBT because what it gives you is an intro into the, the whole way that the client's negative patterns uh, play themselves out. So what should we be looking out for now? Well, first of all, notice that I get the client to use first-person present tense language. This often seems to get closer to the emotional immediacy of the event you're trying to reach. And it does show, incidentally, that, that CBT is interested in emotions. This is a bit of a myth that it, it doesn't have such an interest. Secondly, even though I'm only really exploring things at this stage, I do take some opportunity to challenge some of the negative thinking. For example, how many people in the room actually weren't paying attention to what she was saying. And finally, um, I'm also looking to do a little bit of educational input too on the nature of what anxiety is. For example, the way um, anxiety affects one's attention and also memories. And in fact, um, she recovers a memory that somebody did come up to her at the end of the uh, presentation and right. give us some positive feedback. Yeah, yeah. So they're the key things going on, but in fact you've written a lot more about this in the booklet that accompanies this program. That's right. Okay, let's have a look at the first excerpt then. It was in their lecture theatre uh, and it was a lunchtime lecture and um, I really wasn't feeling very well anyway that day, um, uh, so physically I wasn't feeling well. Um, and we were having to give a lecture using PowerPoint and mm -hmm. I, I'm not very conversant with mm -hmm. PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. And so it came for my turn to, to get up there. So I was already <laughs> thinking, you know, they're going to see that I don't know how to use the PowerPoint. Um, and I was starting to, to give my talk and I was talking about my product. Um, and most of the people in the audience I don't think it was that their 